Welcome students to another lecture in the series, Greetings of the Day. Today we are about to begin with Unit 4, which is the last unit of your syllabus. Almost 75% of the syllabus is complete at this edge. Okay, so the topics that we are about to cover in this unit is marginal costing and profit planning and decisions involving alternative choices. This is a very practical topic again. So first of all, we will begin with marginal costing and profit planning. And then we'll see the other topic later. Okay, let's begin. Uh, see, uh, first of all, while we begin with marginal costing, we need to uh, check out uh, absorption costing and marginal costing both because these are the main two techniques of product costing and income determination. That is absorption costing and marginal costing. So for a clear understanding of marginal costing, so it's better to uh, be in clarity with absorption costing first of all and then we can understand marginal costing we will differentiate between these two so absorption costing let's begin this is the total cost or uh, technique this is a total cost technique under which total cost that is fixed cost as well as variable cost is charged as production cost in other words you can say that absorption costing all the manufacturing costs are absorbed in the cost of the products which are produced so in this system, factory uh, fixed overheads are absorbed on the basis of a predetermined overhead rate based on normal capacity. And if there is any under and over absorbed overheads, they are adjusted before computing profit for a particular period. And here inventory is also valued at production cost, which includes fixed factory overhead and sometimes administration overhead also. Absorption costing approach is same as we used it in cost sheet. Absorption costing is a traditional approach and is also known as conventional costing or full costing. Then marginal costing we can see it is also called as variable costing. Here we do not include the fixed costs. Uh, it is an alternative to absorption costing. It is sometimes also referred to as direct costing. Under this technique only the variable costs are charged to product costs and included in the inventory valuation. Fixed manufacturing costs are not allotted to products but are considered as period costs here in this method and thus charged directly to PNL account of that year. Fixed costs also do not enter into inventory valuation. Both absorption costing and marginal costing treat non-manufacturing costs that is administration, selling and distribution overheads as period costs or we can say in other words these are not inventoryable costs. Okay. Now let us see product costs and period costs. It is uh, important to understand the difference between these two terms here at this moment. Uh, it may be recalled that product costs are those costs which become part of production costs and such costs are also included in the inventory valuation. Whereas period costs are the costs which are included in production cost and inventory valuation and they are treated as an expense of the period in which they are incurred and are written off in the PNL account of that particular period. Administration and selling expenses are generally treated as period costs and in absorption costing and marginal costing product costs and period costs are different. Okay. Now let us see the meaning of marginal cost. It is the cost of the additional uh, additional cost of producing an additional unit. Okay. It is the total of all variable costs. It is composed of all direct costs and variable overheads. CIMA of UK has defined marginal cost as the amount at any given volume of output by which aggregate costs are changed if volume of output is increased and decreased by one unit. Okay. So it is the cost of one unit of product which would be avoided if that unit were not produced. So an important point here that we need to note is that per unit cost remains unchanged irrespective of the level of activity. Let us understand this by example. Suppose a company manufactures 100 unit of a product per month. The total fixed cost per month is rupees 5000 and marginal cost per unit is rupees 250. So total cost per month here will be marginal cost or you can say variable cost per unit at the rate of rupees 250 will be 25,000 fixed cost added to it 5,000 so total cost is 30,000 if the output is increased by one unit means if it is instead of 100 it is 101 then the cost will appear like this simply marginal cost that is 101 into 250 that is 25,000 250 fixed cost added to it so total cost is 30,250 thus additional cost of producing one additional unit is only 250 which is which is its marginal cost so no increase in per unit cost 
meaning of marginal costing it is the ascertainment of marginal cost and the effect on profit of changes in volume or type of output by differentiating between fixed costs and variable costs it is defined by cima the accounting system in which the variable costs are charged to cost units and fixed costs of the period are written off in full against the aggregate contribution so its special value is in decision making characteristics the essential characteristics and mechanism of marginal costing technique can be summed up like first segregation of cost into fixed and variable elements in marginal costing all costs are classified into fixed and variable semi variable costs are also segregated into fixed and variable elements then marginal costs are product costs only marginal or variable costs are charged to products during uh, produced during the period in other words marginal costs are treated as product costs here where fixed costs as period costs okay they are charged to costing pnl of that particular period in which they are incurred for valuation of inventory the work in progress and finished stocks are valued at marginal cost only for contribution it is the difference between the sales value and marginal cost of uh, sales the relative profitability of products or departments is based on the study of contribution which is made by each of the department then pricing in marginal costing the prices are based on marginal cost plus the contribution let's let us understand marginal costing and profit see what happens in marginal costing profit is calculated by a two stage approach first of all contribution is determined for each product or department the contributions of various products or departments are pooled together and such a total of contributions from all products is called as fund then from this fund is deducted the total cost a fixed cost and to arrive at a profit or a loss so it is important to understand that in marginal costing fixed cost is not allocated or apportioned to various products so here we can see sale of product a minus the marginal cost will give you uh, the contribution same ways for product b for c we can obtain the total contribution subtract the fixed cost from it and we can obtain profit from it quite simple then further the distinction between absorption costing and marginal costing treatment of fixed and variable costs first of all in marginal costing only variable costs are charged to products fixed costs are treated as period costs and charged to pnl account of the period in absorption costing all costs both fixed and variable are charged to the product the fixed factory overhead is absorbed in units produced at a rate predetermined on the basis of normal capacity capacity utilization and not on the basis of actual production valuation of stock in marginal costing stock of work in progress and finished goods are valued at marginal cost only then uh, in absorption costing stock, stocks are valued at total cost which includes both fixed and variable so the uh, stocks uh, in marginal costs are lower than in absorption costing because fixed cost is not included there out measurement of profitability in marginal costing the relative profitability of products or departments is based on a study of a relative contribution made by respective products or departments uh, the managerial decisions are thus guided by contribution and absorption costing relative profitability is judged by profit figures which is also a guiding factor for managerial decisions okay next we are about to study the income determination under marginal costing and absorption costing the net profit under the two systems may be same or may be different quite possible so in marginal costing profit is calculated in two stages first all contribution uh, is calculated and from the contribution we deduct the total costs to arrive at the net profit now let us difference uh, see the difference in profit under marginal and absorption costing profits under two systems would be different because of the difference in stock valuation uh, so position uh, let us see the position in this regard production equal to sales when there are no opening and closing stocks so pnl under absorption marginal costing are the same when opening stock is equal to closing stock then also the profit or loss under the systems will be equal provided the fixed cost element in opening and closing stocks is also same then production more than sales when production during a period is more than sales that is when closing stock is more than the opening stock the profit as per uh, of absorbing costing absorption costing will be more than that of the marginal costing why this is because in absorption costing a part of the fixed Uh, overhead included in closing stock value is carried forward to the next accounting period in the form of closing stock 
production less than sales so when this happens vice versa when production during the period is less than the sales then when opening stock is more than the closing stock then the profit of the marginal costing will be more than that shown by your absorption costing so why this is because uh, cost of goods sold is higher because a part of the fixed cost from the uh, preceding period is added to the current year's cost of goods sold in the form of opening stock let us see a question SK and F company is currently working at 50% capacity and produces 10,000 units at 60% working raw material cost increases by 2% and selling price falls by 2% at 80% working uh, raw material cost increases by 5% and selling price falls by 5% at 50% capacity working the cost product costs were rupees 180 per unit and it is sold at rupees 200 per unit unit cost for 180 rupees 180 can be found out like this materials 100 wages 30 factory overheads 30 administration overheads 20 of which 40 percent is fixed under factory and 50 percent is fixed under administration so we need to prepare a marginal cost statement showing the estimated profit of the business when it is operated at 60 and 80 percent we are uh, given at different levels so 50 percent is given to us we can take it from the question and we can calculate it for 60 and 80 percent accordingly for 60 and 80 percent we need to calculate so to begin with we can see the values we'll start from sales we'll see the material cost wages variable factory overheads a variable administration overheads and we can obtain the marginal cost by adding it all these values are given uh, in the question we can find out the contributions by subtracting the marginal cost from the sales then fixed overheads factory and administration we can total it up and we can have a uh, total fixed cost as 22 and profit can be obtained by subtracting this fixed cost from the contribution quite simple same ways we can do that for 60 percent and 80 percent but here the amounts can be calculated using the unitary method like we can uh, show this to you at 60 percent material cost they are saying that two percent is added up so it becomes 102 and for 80 percent it is added up by five percent so it becomes 105 and same ways at 60 percent selling price is uh, reduced by two so 196 instead of 200 and 80 at 80 percent it is five percent less so it's rupees 190 and then factory overheads are also there of which 40 percent is fixed and we can obtain it as rupees 12 per unit and here the variable comes out as 18 per unit total factory overhead costs we can multiply by 10,000 units to obtain it as 1 lakh 20,000 at 60 percent fixed factory overheads per unit will decrease that is rupees 10 at 80 percent it will uh, further decrease to 7.5 variable overhead per unit will not change but will increase in total when the production increases to 60 or 70 percent okay we can calculate the administration overheads same ways so we can see these prices sales reduced and we can check out the other prices as well we can simply subtract the marginal cost from the sales to obtain this contribution and we can subtract these fixed assets from the contribution to obtain this profit so we can see it is slowly the profit is decreasing at various capacities thank you so much Take care, study well. If you have any doubts, you may write.